Anthro Weekend Utah is right around the corner, and we've got some things to tell you that will make your con experience awesome. Let's get started. First, 621. First, get six hours of sleep each day. Not only do countless studies affirm the importance of sleep, but being tired during an exciting convention weekend can make you groggy, grumpy, and more susceptible to the dreaded con crud. Second, eat at least two meals each day. It's easy to get enamored by panels, lost in the dealer's den, or carried away on the dance floor, but that fuzzy belly needs its fuel so you can keep on going. There are over 50 restaurants within walking distance of the convention, and the venue will have food available for purchase too. Do note that the Davis Conference Center does not permit outside food or drink inside convention space. Frustrating as this might be, we ask you to respect their wishes and leave a positive furry impression on our venue. Lastly, take at least one shower each day, possibly more if you're suiting. That middle school body spray shower technique isn't going to cut it, and even though wild animals don't take showers, they also aren't sharing small spaces together. So be nice, smell nice, and keep your fur, scales, or feathers clean. Touch policy. Furries can be very friendly people. It's been said that the hug is the furry equivalent of a handshake. While this is nice, it's important to note that not everyone wants to be touched, especially by people they've barely met. If you want to hug or touch someone, whether in or out of suit, make sure they agree first. Here's an extra note on suitors. Keep your hands high. Fursuits often have an elongated body effect, which means that you may be thinking you're touching the suitor's belly, when in fact you're touching some forbidden furry curry. If you aren't close personal friends with the person in the fursuit, it's best just to not even go there. Third, getting registered. At the Davis Conference Center, registration takes place in the main lobby. Your name in the registration system absolutely must match an official valid ID, such as a driver's license. If your names do not match, you do not get into the convention, plain and simple. Before you arrive, check the email receipt you received when you registered, and make sure it matches with your current ID. If you are under 18 on the first day of the convention, you'll need to either attend with a parent or guardian, or bring in the proper paperwork. If you will be 16 or 17 on the first day, you can bring in a parental consent form and attend alone. If you will be 15 or younger, you must attend with a parent or guardian, or you can bring in an alternate guardian form. Any form you bring in must be signed in the presence of a state notary public, otherwise you will not be admitted and your tears will be used to... We interrupt this program for a special broadcast. Are you tired of coming back from suiting and fumbling with your badges trying to find that room key? Have you resorted to drastic measures, trying to keep that elusive hotel key accessible? Say no to sweaty room keys. Introducing the Awu Hotel wristband for suitors. Simply wear it, tap it, and enter. Suitors staying in the convention hotels are welcome to request one at the check-in desk. Enjoy your stay! Lastly, the Headless Lounge. Some seem to think that the Headless Lounge is a magical wonderland full of dancing cats and free roller coaster rides. Nope, it's just fans and water so that suitors have a place to take a break and cool off. Only one handler, or non-suitor, is allowed to accompany a suitor into the lounge at a time. If you've got a posse, you'll have to let go.
summarize, first remember the 6-2-1 rule. Get at least six hours of sleep, two meals, and one shower each day. Second, ask before touching anyone in or out of suit. Third, your name must match your ID. And if you're under 18 on the first day of the con and not attending with a parent or legal guardian, you must bring in forms and they must be notarized. Lastly, give the suitors a break. Only one non-suitor maximum is allowed to accompany a suitor into the headless lounge. Above all else, we hope you have fun and treat others with respect. We look forward to seeing you soon at Anthro Weekend Utah. And, okay, yeah, go ahead and start using your phone, Zig. And we're recording. <laughs> oh my gosh.